Good morning. It is Thursday morning and I took my own advice. I picked out my outfit last night. I woke up in a funk and you know what? I changed my outfit. So I will show you what my funky funk mood outfit's gonna look like. Thursdays are always tough days for me. I don't know why. You know, Wednesday is all like, oh, it's hump day. You know what, we're almost in the weekend. And then Friday's like, yay, it's Friday. It's Saturday Eve, we're here. And Thursday is just kind of like a little dingleberry of the week. And it's kind of always had like a weird energy vibe for me. And I did wake up this morning and I'm like, oh, you know what, I'm kind of like bull. So I switched up my outfit because I originally was going to go real casual, but I was afraid that was going to play into kind of my, my funky mood. So I wanted to pick myself out a really kind of cool, cute outfit. And this is what I picked. I'm excited for it. So today's weather, just so you have reference as to what the weather is going to be like today, it's going to be sunny and a high of like 65. Poor California, we are in the worst drought. And so I, every day it's like sunny and, and 65 are sunny and not raining. It just kind of makes me sad because we need rain. So I am going to do kind of a little combination of frilly and, um, and kind of grungy. So I love mixing like real, like I said, kind of mixing just those aesthetics. I think that's the right word. Anyway, I love mixing those looks. So. Everything that I'm showing you, I've had in my closet for over a year. Again, I keep my clothes and I like to wear them because they always come around. And that's why sometimes when you when we buy fast fashion, they're not meant to last. But if you can go um, and buy maybe a little bit more expensive, even if it's at thrift stores, they are meant to last and they will last you for years. So. The top I'm gonna to start off with is this Free People top I got a couple of years ago again. And it's real kind of cute. And it kind of has like a little girly vibe. It's very sheer on the stomach. And you know what? I'm in the kind of mood where I'm like, you know what, I can rock a sheer stomach. You can you can see a peekaboo of my stomach. I used to be really like, oh, you can't let anybody see my stomach. And I don't know why. But just lately, I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna wear whatever I want. If you don't wanna look at my stomach, look the other way. So this is the top I'm gonna wear. So girly, girly on top. And then I have a pair of H&M, not H&M, H&M Distressed Boyfriend Jeans. Um, they're kind of like a straight leg, so they're not super form-fitting on my leg, but they're not the baggy boyfriend jeans either. I love the fit of these. And they are, just a boyfriend low waist, um, just a boyfriend low waist jean. Love, love, love. So I kind of got like the grungy boyfriend look jean and I just, um, again, I'm only five foot two so I always turn up the bottoms of my jeans. So I got frilly, kind of grungy. And then I'm gonna be like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit of work, um, business casual to it. And I've got this real nice distressed soft um, blazer that I got at the rack again years ago. And I'm just gonna throw that over the top because I want it to kind of have that real flowy look. And as always, I am going to add a pair of cute socks. Now I do take it back. This is something new. Um, I just got these cute little socks from Free People. Um, so they are available, I believe still on the free people, but I'll check that before I actually, um, upload this video. So I want more, I just want cute. I want vibrant. I want just like, Oh, look at her feet. They're so cute. Then the shoes I'm going to wear. I'm not going to wear Doc Martens, even though I absolutely could. And I think it would look really cute with this outfit, but I'm going to wear a pair of lug sole, um, loafers. These are kind of like um 90s inspired i used to wear these in the 90s these are from vagabond i got these from free people but you can just look at their website directly vagabond again i've had these for about a year but 
Lug Soul Loafers, very 90s inspired, is really very, um, very trendy right now. So if you are thinking about getting a pair, I would, because that's going to just tie this whole outfit together. So again, frilly top, boyfriend jeans. I got the cool little blazer, sweet socks, and my 90s inspired Lug Soul Loafers. And... I guess I need to go try these on and see if my outfit is going to give me the vibe that I'm looking for. All right, so I absolutely love my outfit. I'm glad that I decided to change the whole vibe of what I was going to wear today. Just because I think I would, if I would have gone more casual, I think I would have stayed in that funky mood all day long. And I got to tell you, I'm feeling kind of like fresh. I'm, I'm feeling fresh. I'm feeling fly. I'm feeling very 90s, but it's a good vibe for me. So let me show you the cute little top that I had, remember? I told you it was sheer, so you can, I mean, if, if you get really close, you can kind of see my stomach. But this is me breaking out of my comfort zone. At any age, you can wear whatever you want. And I wanna wear my cute little flirty top. See, this is the top without the jacket. Let me show you what it looks like. Ooh, look at me, I'm showing you a shoulder. So this is the cute little top that I have. Very girly, very flirty. So here's my pants, absolutely love them. Again, the, the low rise boyfriend jean, my shoes with my cute socks. So let's grab the jacket again, put that all on for you. There you go, there's my outfit for the day. Absolutely love the look, it's a good vibe. I'm glad again that I changed my outfit. So remember, if you wake up, if you have an outfit all pre-planned, hello honey, if you have an outfit all pre-planned and you wake up and you're just in a different mood, just pick an outfit to match your mood. Pick an outfit to change your mood. So this is my outfit and now we are going to go do a TikTok and we're gonna harass Ryan Reynolds because I asked him to be my TikTok mom and he never responded. So you know what? I'm gonna ask Hugh Jackman to be his TikTok mom, even though I don't even know if he's on TikTok. But anyway, it's fun, so let's go do that. It's time for another car thought, car thought. I absolutely love my car thoughts. All right, so yesterday, um, I had an incident, I wouldn't even really say an incident with work, but I told my job that I was going to be quitting come this summer, which I've made a decision that it's going to be actually um, the end of May. And so they know, so it's no big deal. It's, you know what, they, they know I'm quitting. But I found out yesterday that decisions were made um, with without consulting me. I mean, I still am an employee there. And, you know, about an account I have and blah, blah, blah. And I got really upset. I got, you know what, I got offended. My feelings got hurt. So hold on, hold this thought. I don't know how this happened, but I hit like every green light driving to work. But I have just enough time to finish my story. So the decisions were made um, without consulting me, which is fine, whatever. I'm gonna be quitting um, in the at the end of May anyway. So, but I got offended. I was just like, what do you mean? Blah, blah, blah. I, I mean, I'm a valuable employee. I do really good job. And so I was just like, screw that. And I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. And I started letting my emotions get the best of me. I let my ego um, make, I let my ego get interfered. Now, a lot of times I forget the difference between what an ego is and what self-confidence is, all right? Self-confidence is when you have the confidence to do whatever you want. Like, I don't know, be 57 years old and start a social media platform maybe. Um, just crazy stuff like that. An ego is where your, um, your self doesn't guide you in the best way possible, meaning that um, it makes you make decisions that aren't, um, that aren't, I guess it just where it just lets your emotions take over, all right? So I got my feelings hurt, I got a little angry, and my ego was like, no, they can't treat you like that, they need to have more respect. And in reality is, it's like, you know what? I'm gonna be quitting. Why am I getting upset? So I'm going to just come in and just be like, hey, whatever. Um, whatever you all do, 
that's what you do just tell me what to do and I'll do it because you know what I'm not going to let decisions like that upset me or change my projection of what I'm gonna do so I have a great attitude I'm gonna go in I'm gonna work hard I'm gonna work hard I'm, I still have my reputation in town as an, a really good escrow officer and I'm gonna make sure that the day that I walk out of these doors that I still have that same reputation as a really good escrow officer now I remember years ago somebody told me that escrow officers don't retire um, they fade away and I still remember sitting there and this had to be probably seven eight years ago and I'm like no I am NOT gonna fade away there is nothing in my DNA that says she's gonna fade and I'm really proud of myself for making the decisions I've made to be like you know what I'm gonna leave on my terms and I have I have the projection of my life of where I want it to be and I'm gonna facilitate that so there you go um, difference between confidence and ego. Ego will not help you. Ego will hurt you. Ego will make you make decisions that aren't for your best. Confidence w is what you tell yourself to um, to push yourself to those next level of good things in your life. So, I made it through the day. You know what? I got lots to be thankful for. And so, what am I going to do? You know what? I Am I going to go home and get right back to work mm, I don't think so I'm gonna go thrifting yes I am you know what I just am gonna take five minutes ten minutes just look around and just let myself just kind of be like <sighs> and I'm just gonna breathe and that's just what I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do well, I'm home now. My day isn't um, my day isn't by any means near done, but at least I'm home. I'm happy. I did um, find one thing at the thrift store, and I'm really happy with the way that um, my thrifting is progressing. Instead of just being like, "Oh, this has got to be worth you know a bazillion dollars," I'm actually taking my time. I'm looking at the quality, and then I do like a quick little research right in the store. So I stopped myself from buying a coach purse. It was only $7.99, but it was very, very, very worn in to the point where it was like, mm, I don't even know um, if it was really resaleable. And then I found a Brighton purse, um, but the amount that they wanted for it compared to um, what I was seeing on Poshmark was there would have been a little bit of profit, but the little dangly charms were missing. So check that off i'm like nope i don't feel that there's a good enough profit margin and look at me talking like a boss you know i've got profits and losses and all of this but i'm having a lot of fun with my um with my reselling so with that said let me show you what i bought i am a sucker for print pants like this i got these cute little jeans they're kind of cropped on me um they are my size and they are, it says name Current Elliot. I'd never heard of them before, but I think they're really, really cute. So I will probably wash these tonight. Well, maybe not. I'll wash them over the weekend. So until next time, remember, if you enjoyed today's episode, hit like. Be sure to follow me. We are having so much fun. Follow, follow, follow. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media links, those are all down below also. So until next time, remember, wear what you want, and I will see you. Do you like how snappy I am? I will see you on the next episode.